Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magnus and I welcome you guys back to the Advanced Wars 2 Randomized War Room Challenge. The ass is broken. It's now ass. Ah. Oh, we're gonna have to start a new ass. Let's see if the ass can continue against Sensei on Mial's Hope. But first, we gotta go to the random ping picker. Um, the list is getting shorter and shorter. We now only have a small handful of CEOs to pick between. And the CO that we'll be using against Sensei. I gotta say, I'm hoping for Eagle here. Eagle would be pretty fucking sweet. Or Hawk. We're gonna get Colin! Okay, that also works, because Colin's broken as fuck. Alright. Meow's Hope. Let's do it. We're gonna play as Colin. So yeah, Colin, one of the strongest CEOs in the game, bar none. He is absolutely, ridiculously, hopelessly, utterly, and just fucking... Desperately broken in every single way. Ah, oh, Colin, Colin, Colin. What what were they thinking when they designed it? This is the thing that really annoys me with Colin, is the fact that since since the only penalty he gets is a 10% firepower reduction, Colin's transports are 20% cheaper without being any less effective in combat. Like a lander, a transport copter, an APC doesn't doesn't um isn't bothered by lowered firepower. This is why I think that in order to balance Colin, you would need to give him a 10% defense penalty as well, so his things actually dies faster. I thought he had it for a very long while, until I theory crafted it and came to the conclusion that no, no, he has literally a 10% reduction in firepower. The, like, the weakest penalty ever for being able to purchase things at a ridiculously low price, and not to mention his little power, which costs two fucking stars and gives him a ridiculous amount. Like, it pretty much gives him 50% of an income. Like, it's... And you can save it up, too. You know, just to add insult to injury, you can save up the fucking power and use it to great effect. It's absolutely retarded how strong Colin is. Like, I can't even begin to explain how good he is. Um, anyway, uh, I think we'll send this guy... I think we'll just put him into the copter, why not? Like, Colin just, he can afford so much stuff early on. He can build things that no one else can build. And he's strong on big maps because then his bigger economy even gets bigger. But on small maps, he's also really good because normally, if you have like an income of 14,000, the other part would have to save up some money in order to get a medium tank. Whereas Colin, oh no, he doesn't have to do that. He could just build a medium tank straight off the line and he'll have a massive advantage over his uh, opponent. Anyway, we need to go for the bases. I'm thinking about going for this airport right here, or at least the base, so I can build infantry there. Da -da and I won't be able to get that base, sadly. But I'll still transport an infantry up there. And I think we're good on... I think we'll save up some money for a fighter or something, because we're facing Sensei, so he's already deployed battlecopters, and we'll need an answer to that. Luckily, it's not coming after us with it, because the AI has this weird mentality of, Oh no, I must wait with my units a couple of turns before I move out. I think the idea is that it's amassing some sort of army. I think at least that's like the general... That's the general idea behind the AI. It's decision that he can't move out with just one unit. Which of course is ridiculous. It's the best time to move out. Alright, so... We are going to be saving up some money, yeah. Um, 16,000 for a fighter. Like, how? How the fuck do you do you become that overpowered? So, we'll, we'll win this um, battle, mainly via air units. And what's great about Colin is that... Yeah, sure, his fighters won't one-shot the uh, sensized battlecopters, but that's actually a good thing. Like, normally a fighter does 100% damage to a battlecopter. Now it will be 90%. And what's fantastic about that, and this is also a great way to utilize transports, by the way. Oh, look, you can't interrupt my cap because there's a transport copter in the way. Advanced Wars logic. Um, but yeah, it's actually a good thing because leaving units on one hit points means that they'll go back for repairs. Of course, it does affect your score in a negative way, so there's that. But, holy shit, this map is so huge. <laughs> mm, we'll do this. Bum, ba -da -bum, bum, bum. Okay, I'm not. I'm not managing my. I'm not managing my transports very effectively right now. I could have done that a lot better. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, if you leave units at one health, they go back and for repairs, which means that the enemies. Uh, not only do they occupy airports, preventing the enemy from deploying more air units, it also dra drains their funds. 
The dude has to go back for a total of five turns to heal up for one hit points, and that takes it out of action for, like, a majority of the game, and when it comes back, you'll probably have gotten such a big advantage anyway, that it won't really matter. Do, 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 so yeah, I always use transports to block off enemies trying to interrupt your caps. Really important. Anyway, as I said, I'm not really proud of the way I'm managing my transports here. It could probably have been a lot more efficient than I currently am. And since I'm calling, I can build a bomber for 17,600 because that's fucking balanced, am I right? Seriously, how is this guy even... How did he make it? Like, how did they not realize how broken Colin was? I mean, they're pretty spot on. Actually, no. I was like, they're spot on with their game design, but no, actually, no, they're really not. Advanced Wars 2 is unbalanced as fuck. Advanced Wars 1 was very balanced, at the very least, but they seem to have lost some of that edge in terms of... Maybe they just didn't care that much about balance. They didn't really consider it important, maybe? I don't know. It's weird. I don't get it. Uh, anyway. Let's uh, pull back our transports. Um, let's use an infantry shield. So, this battlecopter is in the way. So, it needs to go. We can place our fighter down here, maybe. See what the transport does. We just build an infantry here as a shield for now. Like, there's so many properties here that will never be used. It's kind of sad. Like, all these properties up here. This is a really bad map design. Like, I, why... Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, why would you ever build this space? Well, I just realized there's a city over here I haven't capped yet. Bum, 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 bum. Dun dun. I'm gonna build a battlecopter, even though my battlecopters can't challenge Sensei's battlecopters. They're still good against other units. But yeah, Sensei is tricky to fight against because when he gets his power, of course, he spawns a billion units, which is really annoying. And yeah, this is Sensei Sensei's battlecopters in a nutshell right there. They one-shot your infantry even if they're on planes. And I think in forests too. So it's kinda hard to fight against them. So it seems like you just build a bomber. Um I so badly want to go and kill that, but I'll lose my fighter if I do. Still, like, nah, I need to I need to take down this uh, Battlecopter, and this is why the Battlecopter is awesome. I think we'll need some help up here, and um, probably build another bomber. We'll pull back the infantry, block it with another infantry. This is like a really good tactic that I like using. Uh, we'll have to shield that with another infantry so the bomber doesn't kill it. As long as we take out that anti-air, we're actually really good here. I don't think we're gonna get this city, so we might as well try and camp this thing instead. We can actually, what we can do, we can place the transport copter on the base to prevent him from capping that. Actually, that's a good idea. Should probably have done that a lot sooner. I think I'll build a recon here to fend off the infantry coming my way. Bum 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 dun dun. Should I repair the transport? I don't think so. Nah, I'll, I'll fly back and get myself another infantry. You almost never want to repair transports. There's zero reason to. Ram bum 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 bum. And now he's getting his uh, battlecopter back to repair, which is exactly what I said was so good about. Like it's actually one of those rare cases where Colin's reduced firepower actually give, grants him a favor. It's kind of stupid, but that's how it works, because repairing is so bad in this game. You almost never want to repair. The only time you want to repair is when you have a city on the front lines and you want to place a unit in the city to keep it, like, healthy, so it can fight on the next turn. That is the only reason. Oh, do you look at that? We have our little power already. Let's just use it. Of course, you always, like, this is a mistake that many Colin players tend to do when they play Colin. I have a, I have a friend who loves Colin and plays him all the time. And he, he he always uses his power at the end of the turn because he's like, oh, that's when I'm going to deploy units. No, no, you use it right away. Why? Because you get the 10% defense boost, which helps you add in combat. It makes you tank 10% less damage from retaliation strikes, which is... Oh, shit, I just realized he has a fighter. Ah, that's bad. Okay, since he's going to kill something anyway, I might as well just move in. I mean, if I didn't have the 10% defense boosts, maybe this entire would have dealt one hit point damage to the bomber. You never know. Like, it, it can happen. That was po poor of me. I should have attacked. Oh, what am I doing? 
Okay, now I'm just playing really poorly. Alright, I'm gonna do this, I think, because I don't want him to have the base. I could try to interrupt it, but there's um Nah, I'm not gonna do that. Anyway, now I can afford like a million bombers and probably another fighter as well. I think I'll just combine these two together and I'll make myself an untire. And like since this fighter will destroy some of our dudes anyway, we might as well just move in and do some damage. So Colin's firepower is annoying, like firepower reduction. It is annoying. Like I'll I'm not gonna say it's not irrelevant, because it is. But it's such a small price to pay for the awesome abilities he gets. Alright. So placing an infantry on the bridge right there, as long as you can reinforce it with another infantry, the, the air will never cross the bridge because it's stupid. It's actually kind of funny. Okay, yeah. I don't under- okay, lovely. So that bomber will clog up the air- now two of his airports are clogged up, so he can't build air units. Actually, no, I think he has one more airport, doesn't he? No, he actually yeah, he has one more. He has so many units he's repairing right now, and I can destroy them at any time. Anytime I want, I can just go up and destroy them. Alright, let's go after the hard hitters. Let's go after the medium tanks. Another guy left on one hit point. The problem with this is that it might actually be affecting my scores, though. I'm not sure, but I think that might be bad for me. And we won't kill this bomber, naturally. Instead, we want to protect the fighter. Or we could just leave a transport as bait. That also works. Now, of course, Colin infantry versus Sensei infantry is not fun at all. I'm not going to pretend it is. It's, it's really not. It's like, that's a fight you can't win. You'll need to outnumber him heavily, but then again, I am doing them, so. Oh, fuck. Did I forget to turn off Skype? Uh, I forgot to turn off Skype. Give me a moment. Alright, there we go. Actually, use the pause function for once. Hope it doesn't desync the sound. If not, I guess I'll just edit it back in. I've gotten really good at uh, fixing sound desyncings as of late. Alright, I'll just combine and build another battlecopter. Beep, 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 beep. Could even leave this as a bait for the fighter. I'm pretty sure the fighter will go after transports if given the opportunity. Also, I gotta take these two buildings. I'm kinda ignoring those. Ba -ba, da -da 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 He's building a neo tank. Okay, so incoming mech spam, of course. <laughs> Look at his funds. Like, oh, he has 15,000 left. So yeah, this is um. This is a problem, because now, suddenly, a million mechs. Like, it's such... Airborne Assault is such a stupid power. Like, it's way too overpowered. Like, how is that balanced? How is that shit balanced? <sighs> I mean... The power that spawns units... Permanently? I gotta say, some of the design decisions they made in this game really baffles me. I mean, they, they could not have been thinking straight on this one. I think they were more concerned with creating cool COs than they were creating balanced COs. And like, when, when one of the guys got the idea, oh, he spawns mechs, they were like all over it. And I was like, yeah, we should probably give them 9 health just to balance it out. And then they were like, but then they can just combine them and get like free cash. But of course, no one would do that, because you'd rather have a million and 9 hit point mechs. Like, combining is only good in certain situations, if you, like, hit the unit cap or something, but otherwise, don't do it. Alright, so can I destroy this tank? Uh, I can. When all else fails, infantry cleans up the job quite well. Because we don't want to be going one-on-one -on -one against uh, Sensei's fighters, that would be silly. But I, I do think I want to destroy it. Or, even better, take it down to one health. I worked out last time. Yeah, we're systematically picking him apart right here. Save our recon because of score. And I actually don't think I even want to attack him. And speaking of which, I really need to get these two properties right now. Hey, look, a Neo tank. And he has no anti here. Well, there is 
that missile, but that can't attack me. Sub Sensei, I might need to get. I think I actually should get an APC for refueling purposes. And that missile is fucking me over, so I don't really want to go close to that. Would like to not lose this infantry, so I'm gonna combine. And this transport copter can easily block any units coming from that direction. Oh shit, I have my power. Oh, well, well. Maybe I should use power of money for the lulls. I mean, it has more striking power. Could do that. Might actually help me get a better scoring. You know what? I'm gonna use power of money. Because right now, I don't really need to deploy more units. I'm pretty much deploying bombers and shit every turn anyway. So I think we're gonna use the power of money to great effect right here. Like, it's a power that you normally should not use against the human opponent unless you have, like, a ridiculous advantage and you just want to laugh in his face. So in case you don't know how much power you get from Power of Money, you get 1% firepower for every 3,000 funds you have. So it it's pretty simple math, really. You... You just... Basically... Uh, what did I just say? Yeah, 1% for every 3... Yeah... <laughs> I'm, I'm itch late. I shouldn't be doing Manx math, I'm aware. But, effectively... Or is it 3% per thousand? No, it's not It's not 3% per thousand. It's it's 1% per... Uh, I forget. No, I think it's... No, no, no. I think it... No, it's... it's I'm, I'm an idiot. It is 3... It's 3% 3 per thousand. So, um, if you have 30,000, that's a 90% increase in firepower, I think. Now, I, am I completely botching this right now? Uh, I actually can't remember how good Power of Money is. I'm pretty sure it's 3% per thousand. And then you have to, of course, take into consideration that uh, Colin starts out off with a 10% penalty. So, just to just to get that out of the way. Yeah. No, I think... <laughs> I, oh, wow. Uh, my brain just completely farther right now. I usually am spot on with these things, but I even made a fucking video about it. But now I'm actually completely baffled as, as to how the super... It's either 3% it's either per thousand or thousand per... Or one percent per... I, fuck it. Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure some of you will cor correct me in the comment section anyway. Anyway. Uh, oh, look at that. Free transports. I wonder if you leave the... Yeah, I'm actually gonna kill this guy now because he might soon become active. Oh, look at that. Let's do it. Why not? Why not? It's not the best power of money, but it's a fun one at the very least. I'm pretty sure I got I just got 90% firepower out of that. I think it's I'm pretty sure it's 1%. 3% per thousand, yeah. Um, so yeah, now my units have 80% decreased firepower, which is essentially like a samurai spirit come by without the defense. It's quite cool. I mean, if we take it, look, yeah, not, yeah, 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 it's it's definitely 80%, because normally I would do about 50% damage to this guy. So yeah, I can can definitely confirm it is 3% per thousand. Now we, we can leave that behind us and pretend it never happened. It's late, guys. I'm tired, okay? I have excuses. And destroy anti-airs on bases. That's normally something Colin is not able to do, so... Hey, hey, hey. Look at this shit. Sensei? You ain't got shit on this guy. Well, low percentage attacks still are pretty shit against Col uh Like, when you do like 10%, an extra 80% isn't gonna help. Oh, cool, we can block the airport. I love blocking airports. It's my favorite pastime, actually. Alright, let's, um... Oh, we could have blocked the base as well. I guess in this situation it doesn't really help all that much, though. Okay, our fighter is low on, low on fuel. Might as well take out a mech. I think we, we got a really good power score on this, on this turn alone. Build a recon, they're good against those pesky mechs. Oh no, will it be a copter command? No, he's gonna save up for the airborne assault. We're probably gonna get one more. So we should probably go for the HQ. Alright, we'll leave that fighter there, actually. We're not gonna kill it. I don't know if Sensei's mech spawn actually counts towards the total of number of units he's deployed. I don't think it does, like, in terms of score. 
Not sure if it does. I did get a very easy S rank with, with Sensei, so I'm actually wondering if that might be the case, but... Anyway, this APC will go, will lead us to safety. So we gotta take take good care of it. Uh, this will be a uh, 59%. Good defense is always a good counter to call in. I actually really don't want him to send this guy over here, but at the same time, I guess I really shouldn't care all too much. All right, we got um, gotta protect that APC. I mean, this is really the big problem, isn't it? I get, hmm. I guess we'll attack it. He'll get an airborne assault anyway, so it's not really a whole lot we can do about that. We gotta get rid of this neo tank, though. There we go. Now we can cap. You know what? Blocking... Yeah, that's one of the things you have to do when playing against Sensei. Block his goddamn cities with units. There's one less mech that we'll be dealing with. So, do remember to do that. And... I think... Yeah, if I, if I move a bomber on here, I'm also gonna block a mech from appearing right here. <laughs> Alright, good. So here comes an airborne assault. It won't be that many mechs. He's blocked most of his own cities. I could have blocked that other one over to the west there. That was kind of stupid of me. Think about mechs that they're so fucking annoying to deal with. Like, they're just, like, you can't kill them with normal vehicles. Oh crap. No, not my APC. Not gonna happen, I'm afraid. Alright, there goes my transport. It did its job well enough. Alright, so now I need to start clearing a path towards... Uh, oh crap, one hit points. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's the problem right there. Your entire... Boom, gone. That shit ain't gonna survive. You can't, like, fight Sensei mix with Antire. It's not cost-effective at all. Alright, should we just use the bloody power of money? I think we'll use the bloody power of money. Just for the defense, if nothing else. Alright, so... Uh, fighter is starting to get dangerously low on, on health. This is not good. We'll take this. Mm, do what we can against these bloody mechs. So... Mm, we want to kill this tank. We want to clear away... Oh, crap. So much defense. <laughs> Alright. It's more like solo firepower, but hey. We want to focus our, ab on the units around the HQ, pretty much. Like so. Now that's just going to get shot down. Can we kill this guy? Oh, fucking hell. That was stupid. Should have known that would happen. Alright, we gotta kill this tank. And how can we do this? I mean, if we... Yeah, he won't be able to, to interrupt this. Um, oh well, there is this mech though. Like, he can go through his own units, manks. Oh well. As I said to someone else in the comment section, if you came, if you come here to watch me play perfectly, you are, you are definitely not in the right place. I am, I am playing pretty much like spontaneously right here. There is not much planning or rhyme or reason to my to my moves at all. And like I said, I would have done post commentary if my job, if if my sole purpose was to get a perfect 300 points S rank, I would. But that's not really my purpose. I will try to S-rank as many maps as possible. But that's not always easy when you're doing commentary. Okay, so I think his mech will attack my infantry now, sadly. Prevent that capturing. There's just so many fucking mechs around. Luckily, it's a 9 hit point mech, so it's not as powerful. But it still will deal like a solid 3 or 4 hit points damage to my infantry. Da, 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 ba, na, 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 Should still be able to capture the HQ, though. I'll be able to kill all those mechs. 
I'll need to use the APC for refueling too. I'll refuel that bomber at the very least. There we go. And what's great about fighters is you can use them to block bases. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna block this base. And we're mainly gonna go for the mechs with our bombers. That's kind of what's most important right now, because they are the ones who can interrupt the cap. We'll resupply this fighter, because it's about to uh, crash. Doo -doo. There we go. Finish up this mech. Kill the APC for power score. Didn't build anything in the city either. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. And now it's just about building fast units, really. Fast units that can do something. And we gotta interrupt this cap. Luckily, Sensei doesn't get that hacks cap increase thingy that Sami does. Thank fucking god. Oh, dude, look at that. No anti units. How lovely. So, will he get his power this turn? Ah, he might actually even activate it. That would be annoying, I'm not gonna lie. That would be actually, like, really fucking annoying if you use this little power right now. Okay, he's... Like, the AI almost never uses Copter Command. It has that on very low priority. For good reason. So, if I had actually managed to keep that infantry safe, we would have been winning right now. We would have been capturing his HQ right at this very present moment. Which is a little bit annoying, because, like, we're on what now? We're on day 16. Hmm. Like, we will ca we will on the next- we will win on the next turn, so it got- it got delayed by a single turn, which is not, like, insane. Uh, I think we'll just use the power of money here. Why not? We'll buy a whole fuck ton of units this turn. Cheap colon units for the win. We'll destroy a lot of units tomorrow. Bombers, ahoy! Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, this is sweet. I love it when you can just like bombers are fantastic when there's no anti-air around. The problem is that they have no staying power as soon as anti-air enters the field. But god, their mobility is so fantastic. So much fun to use. That's actually... I don't think I don't think he's gonna get his superpower. Nah. I also don't think Sensei is one of those CEOs who's actually hard-coded to use his superpower at the end of the turn. Because he does come with a movement speed increase, so... Alright, let's just build a whole crap ton of units. And we can't let Sensei get this city. That's a matter of pride on my part, really. Can't let that old geezer beat me. But yeah, I'm lucky I got a, such an overpowered CO for this map. Colin is ridiculous. Way more ridiculous than Kamba in my opinion. I think Kamba is like slightly below Colin on the overpowered charge. And that says something when you're more overpowered than a fucking Kamba. Alright, let's kill what we can and buy what we can. And let's only let's actually only kill units. That's the only thing that really matters. Like wounding them won't really make a fucking difference. So I'm gonna, yeah, there we go. I'm only gonna go for the kill here, nothing else. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Which Colin is surprisingly bad at. Well, not really surprising at all, I suppose. Alright, how many units can we kill, ladies and gentlemen? How many units can we kill? Dun, 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 dun. Ram -pum 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 -pum. Killing units are so fun. Oh, the advanced force world is such a cruel, desolate place. Where people kill each other just for fun. And then they go out and have friendly matches while their soldiers are dying. Oh, I'd like to fight against you again sometime, Eagle. Me too, Andy. They have no regard for the lives of their soldiers. Alright, looks like we're done. Maybe there's a couple more units I could have killed this turn. Let's see what rank we got. Will a new ass rank or ass streak? Ah! Technique a little bit low, but otherwise, the ass has returned. Phew, I won! 
I really won. You know, for playing the underdog role, you're a really overpowered fucking kid, Colin, you know that? It just doesn't work, you know? I can't sympathize with you, because you're not weak. You're fucking strong. You're overpowered as fuck. Yeah. New asterisk is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, buh, 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 buh. Always get, get a lag when I get out of here. Next time, we're gonna go on the Bounty River versus Flack. Ah, Flack's such a fun guy to fight against. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Please consider leaving a like and a comment if you did. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.